check this out, y'all. Got plenty of sleep. Feeling like I'm alive again, you know. I'm going to talk to y'all about this shit, man. You read the title. Women are more uh, faithful. Some of y'all, nah, that's bullshit. Hypergamy, dog. Red pill. You're tripping, dog. Hypergamy, hypergamy, hypergamy. Hold the fuck up, bro. I didn't say that they was more loyal. I said they're more faithful. What's the difference? Technically, there is no difference, but the definition or the perception of each one makes them different. Loyalty is sticking with somebody no matter what. Faithful is I'm riding with you as long as, you know, here's faithful. Let me break this shit down because you're saying, how's it different? Here's a good example. A woman will pick you, only fuck with you, right? Cut all the other guys off. But the moment she might find somebody that she thinks is better or the moment that you're not making her happy, she jumps ship. See? But faithfulness is the fact that she'll just cut everybody off and deal with you or only deal with you until she's done with you. There's a difference. Loyalty is I'm still going to fuck with you regardless if you're making me happy or not or if I'm finding another person that's better or not. That's why when y'all say, well, how's a woman more more um, more um faithful when there's hypergamy? Because that's that goes under loyalty, not necessarily faithful because faithful is only dealing with one woman. There's women right now who would not fuck with me right now because they have a boyfriend, but the moment they don't have a boyfriend or that boyfriend is not making them happy, they're going to start fishing for somebody else, you know? But another reason why I feel like women are more faithful is because right now, you're a woman. Yes, you, the so-called I'm the best sex she can ever get and she'll never leave. And that's why she's not leaving because I'm just this dude, right? Yeah, you. Your woman's only faithful because she wants to be, not because she got to be. See, if men was put in a woman's place where they could just walk down the street and everybody trying to give them sex... Most men would not be faithful to the woman that they, that they have right now. That's facts. That is facts. You can argue with it with whoever the fuck you want. You know? And I'm not saying that there aren't men out here who do get offered for sex a lot and still be faithful. But we already know what time it is. It's not the same comparison to a woman. A woman don't even have to be that good looking. Like a guy has to be on his shit to be on that type of level. A woman don't have to be on that type of level for dudes to be trying to fuck her like that. She could just be your average woman. She could have 10 kids and be overweight and everything. And men will still be trying to fuck. So it's not the same. It's not the same comparison. It's not even close. But. Yeah. Um, your woman's faithful because she chooses to be. If you think that your woman can't go out and fuck a dude that she thinks is probably more attractive than you or maybe more money, whatever. You're sadly mistaken. See, most men only commit to a woman because that's the best they can do. Same thing, in a sense, vice versa with women. But the thing is this. Most men are faithful to a woman because they have no other choice. There is no other way for them to get sex somewhere else. A woman can always get sex somewhere else. She can always get it somewhere else. Now, I understand that faithfulness can fall under talking to other men and, and seeking attention from other men or women or whatever. I get it. But ultimately, women have men and have offers in their face every day. Some men might go days, weeks, months, years without an offer from a woman. It's a fact. But it's a guarantee a woman, at least once a week, got to do try to hit on her. At least. At least once a week. That's just giving them the bare minimum. They at least have one dude trying to hit them, hit on them at least once a week. Men, that ain't guaranteed. A lot of men don't have a woman hitting on them at least once a week. Even if you're a handsome guy. And yes, I'm a handsome guy. That don't mean that... Okay, maybe I'm lying a little bit. They do be hitting. But you get the point. What if, what if, I'm, what if I wasn't handsome? Then what? Then what? See? woman don't have to be handsome or you know good looking a woman don't have to be that man and she's still getting hit on so the woman that you with right now is, is faithful to you because she chooses to be man she don't have to be 
any given time you make her mad, she could have just went out and slept with somebody else. Like you men, you get mad at your woman, you can't just hop out and go fuck somebody else. I mean, maybe, maybe you might have somebody, but not like to the extent that a woman got it. She literally can be mad at you and say, fuck that, I'm about to go fuck somebody else. If she really wanted to. Men are only usually faithful to that woman or committing to that woman because that's all they can get. They can't, they don't think they can do any better. A lot of times that's not what the case is with the female. I'm not going to sit here and say that to uh, uh, the hypergamy doesn't exist. It is that to to a certain extent with a female. But the, the thing is this. The reason why women uh, settle, pick a man is because they're tired of having sex with everybody. Men settle for women because they can't have sex with everybody. You know what I mean? That's That's the truth. Women get tired of having sex with everybody, and men can't have sex with everybody. That's why that's why the man and the woman commit. The woman's tired of sleeping around. It's not that she can't get them. She's tired of it. Men are like, shit, I can't get no no sex no more, dog. I'm falling off. My hair my hair leaving, this or that, fuck it. I'm just gonna commit to this chick. You know what I mean? That's usually what happens. Now, gender don't determine who's faithful and who's not. That's not what I'm saying. We're going by the majority in this motherfucker, man. In the majority situation, the woman does not have to be faithful to you, period. She can walk outside. A woman could jump in her inbox right now. As a matter of fact, a woman could post a post right now. I want to fuck somebody tonight. It's that easy. My boyfriend made me mad. I'm about to go cheat on him. It's that easy. You can't do that, really. As a man, that's why men, they see, they might seem to be more faithful, but they, a lot of times men don't have a choice. Women always have the choice to be faithful or not. That's a fact. Most men do not always have a choice. They be like, damn, I can't really get nobody else. Fuck it, I'm going to stick with this girl, my girl, whatever. And I ain't saying nothing wrong with that or anything. I'm just speaking facts, man. A woman always has a choice to be faithful or not. And some of them still be faithful, even though dudes cheat. Now let a dude get cheated on by a girl and he's a woman. Let's put let's put it like this. Let me put it like this. Say men are the ones that could walk outside and get hit on every everywhere they go. Let the woman cheat on that guy. And you think that guy's still gonna be faithful to that woman? Fuck out of here. No, he's gonna go right outside and go fuck the girl, another girl. Immediately. It ain't gonna be no wait. A woman though, she can get cheated on by a man and still not fuck with none of y'all. And still be loyal to that dude. I've seen it too many times. Matter of fact, the one that cheat gets more loyalty than the dude that's actually faithful to the woman. I actually see the faithful men be the ones that get cheated on versus the men who cheat. That's a fact. You can't, you can say, oh, no, you trip. No, I'm not tripping, motherfucker. I know what I see. I know what I hear from listening to men and men and men here, here, here. And this lady think I'm crazy because she don't know why I'm, what I'm doing. So she thinks that I'm tripping. But I don't care about that. I'm not tripping, dog. A man get cheated on by a woman, he's either going to leave or he's going to cheat. That's a fact. That's a fact, man, because it, it, it bruises the man ego. The only way a man um, still deals with a woman after being cheated on because he don't think he can get somebody else. That's why men stay with women when they get cheated on. A woman still, remember, a woman can get, a, she can go fuck another guy. Easy. There's the proof right there. If a woman, if... If a man cheated on a woman, a woman could easily, you know what, okay, you want to cheat? I'm about to go cheat. It's so easy. She got them lined up already. Even if, It doesn't matter if the man wants to commit to her or really like her or not. That's not the topic. The topic is she could literally go out and fuck somebody else. And a guy that she actually likes, probably she probably thinks he look better than you. You as a man can't be like, all right, my woman cheated. I'm about to go get a woman that look, be look better than her. Yeah, okay. Because if that's the case, you probably would have been with that woman and not your woman. That's a fact because most men choose most men choose women based off of how good they think they can get a woman these are facts i'm not making this shit up men usually do not commit to a woman unless they think let me say this right men usually do not commit to women they do not commit to women unless they think they can't do better that's when a man said all right i'm about to commit or his he don't he, he don't have options like that and that's why a lot of times women don't want to deal with men who don't have options because she probably feels like, well, he, I don't want him because nobody else wants him. That's why they like the guys that can get all the women because they want to feel like they've been chosen out of the, they've been chosen instead of being uh, settled for, basically. 
So if it's a guy that really can't get women like that, they're going to assume, well, shit, he can't get women like that. That's why he chose me. And that, that's not going to, it's kind of like you as a guy, imagine you've been the last choice out of 10 guys or something. And you know she wanted the other nine, but she's like, all right, I'll just, I'll just pick you, Tuan. Man, fuck that. I don't want that. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it is. That's why women gravitate towards the men who are dealing with a lot of women or men. Yeah, a lot of women because they think in their minds that these men are dealing with a lot of women because they can. And then they think men who are only just out the way and not dealing with a lot of women, they think that um, they can't get a lot of women. And so do men. Men will say the same thing. If you if you niggas could fuck a more than one woman, you would do it. They think every man wants that. But that's not the case. And that's not always the case. I'm a guy that don't want to fuck with a bunch of women. And I'm not an ugly guy. So it's not always the case. But let men tell it and let women tell it. They're going to assume that if you are a guy that's not dealing with a lot of women, then nobody wants you. And that's going to make the woman feel like she you're uh, just selling for her because you can't get somebody else, you know. But they definitely more faithful, man. There's no there's no way around this shit, man. I didn't say more loyal. Because loyal is, you know, I'm faithful to this guy. Only him. Yeah, he's fucking up. I'm not happy no more. I'm ready to jump ship. Now, men will still stick it out a lot of times more than women when they're not happy. You know, and, and sometimes it's because he can't get somebody else. But sometimes he could. He just don't do it. But a woman, if she's not happy and shit, she's going to leave at some point. She's going to go. There ain't no doubt about it. That's why men are more loyal, but faithfulness, though, a woman will cut off all the options and deal with you. Man, not so much, which goes back to why men commit to women, because he don't, his options are dry now. He going bald and shit. You need gas station pills and shit. So, ah, fuck it. Let me commit to this girl. But a woman still had men on deck. She just chose you. Remember that she got men on deck. She just chose you. This is why I tell you all the time. Stop doing magic tricks for women. Yeah, man, supposed to pursue, but when that woman wants to be pursued, that's when you pursue. When she is letting you know that she wants to be pursued by you and only you, that's when you pursue. If you don't see that, you don't pursue shit. You let her come to you. Plain and simple. This stupid ass cop. Bitch ass motherfucker. Women don't understand it because they are not men. They don't understand what we go through. I shouldn't have ate this apple all they do not understand because they're, they are women. As soon as they walk outside, everybody in their face. But it's true, man. They more faithful, man. I don't give a fuck what, what any of y'all say. You know what I mean? When they pick a guy and they really want to deal with a guy, remember, they got men on deck for days. You don't got that as a man. Who are you? Lil Wayne or something? You bet that's the only way. The only way you as a man gonna reach that that sexual market value as a fucking average woman, like Kevin Samuel said, average at best. The only way you're gonna even reach the average woman's sexual market value of pulling whoever she wanna fuck is if you uh you gotta be up there with the Lil Wayne's and the Michael Jordans and shit. That's just the way the game is. You don't believe me? That's why when a woman can, a new woman can come in the job, every last man is hitting on her. That don't happen to you. You get a, you a new dude at a job. You think every last woman gonna hit on you? No, it ain't gonna happen. But it happens to her. Imagine being faithful when you got all that, all those options. And remember, a lot of these options look better than what you got at home, in your opinion. Because believe it or not, a woman she always got the option to deal with somebody who she probably find more attractive than you. It's just a fact. The difference is she actually likes you and they go they go for more than just looks and money and all that. Most of them. The real ones do. That's why you can you can have more money than her boyfriend, but she ain't gonna leave her boyfriend. You know what I mean? She ain't gonna leave her boyfriend. But I, I really feel that men are more susceptible to being faithful because the lack of options. But if you start to weigh out the lack of options versus who's really faithful, it's the women. Because they got limited options. It's everywhere. Everywhere they go. And you men know it. That's why there's more of us. And you still got to fight through a fucking jungle just to get one woman's attention. You got 10 motherfuckers, 20 motherfuckers already on deck. But believe what y'all want, man. All I know is 
if you got a girlfriend right now, she can probably get, a, she can fuck a guy that she probably like more attractive than you. When I say attractive, I mean from the base, from the looks, not who the person is. She don't know the person, maybe. The point is, there's guys hitting on her, and, and you're not perfect. And that woman could. Sometimes you probably make her mad and not happy and shit like that, but she still stick it out. If you put guys, if you put about 98% guys in the same situation as the woman of being able to attract people just by going outside and putting on clothes, men would not even, they're not even faithful now. Men don't even be faithful now. They're they not even pulling near as much. They don't have near as much pull as a female. So just imagine if you gave men all that vagina power, because that's what it is. Well, really, it's weak men that give vagina power. That's what it, Vagina has no power. It's weak men who give the vagina power, right? But if you put men in that same situation, that they're going to fold. They're going to cheat. Ain't no fucking way. You know what I mean? If you say... Uh, Here's your girlfriend. She's a good woman and all this, but you know we're gonna send models your way. Cause remember, a model is equivalent to a, a man that a woman finds more attractive than her boyfriend. Men are gonna fall like a, they're gonna buckle. They're gonna cheat. Ain't no way around that they're gonna cheat. I'm gonna say about 98 percent men gonna say, "Oh shit, she looked better than my girl at home." Let me just keep it on the low so my girl don't find out. Women can easily do this shit, man. I don't I don't understand why men don't get it. You don't get it. If a woman... Now, granted, the man's a controller of the relationship. I guess you want to call it. He's the one that really offers the commitment, just like women offer the sex. But the point is this. That's not the point of the title. The, t the point of the title is women have unlimited options to cheat, and they still don't. And even, even some of them being cheated on by the man, and they still don't. Put a man in that same situation options of women who look better than his girlfriend and his girlfriend cheated on him you trying to tell me the man wouldn't cheat he gonna cheat or leave he gonna definitely cheat or leave i'm out of here man believe what y'all want they got all the options in the world that's all i'm gonna say that's why it's important for you to let the woman prove that she wants to be pursued by you because i know women like to throw that little game in there of the, it's a man's job i'm not chasing nobody you ain't gotta chase me show me you want to be pursued that's there's a difference. See, you can't even you can't even put enough effort for that. So therefore, hey, I don't, you don't want to do nothing about it. I'm not because I already know you got thousands of men on in your face. You're gonna have thousands of men in your face, and you already got them on deck. So obviously, I'm not the first choice because if I was, you would say I want to be pursued by you, not literally, but you would show it. You know. So I've had them in the past say that I'm not chasing nobody. Well, I'm not chasing you. Cause I already know what time it is. You just go. I'm just gonna be another dude. If I was that dude, you would. It wouldn't have been none of that. You would have been chasing me somewhat, aka showing me you want to be pursued. If you are a woman who refuses to pursue the man, you're still gonna show the man that you want to be pursued back. You know what I'm saying? Or you're gonna reciprocate if the man does pursue. But that's a little off topic. End of the story. They could deal with other men if they really wanted to. And nine times out of ten, that other them other men either probably have more money than you, they look better than you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You put a man in that same position with that same vagina power, I guarantee you, he's not gonna be as faithful. He might be loyal. He might um even though if you cheat, you're not being loyal, but loyal to me is not leaving you. You know what I mean? Just trying to break it down a little bit different. So he might cheat and come home to his girl. He don't want to leave her and type shit. I guess you could just consider that loyal, but technically it's not because he's cheating. But I'm trying to make the difference, you know, in between the the, situ the uh, understanding of what I'm trying to break down. So he'll go cheat, but he'll come home. The woman won't even do that. Like you cheating on her, she's still not going to fuck with them other guys. Shit. Now, some women are cheaters and shit. I get it. They cheat, they lie and all this. I'm not saying it's every last woman, but for the most part. When I look and see women with boyfriends and shit, that's why they cut you off. That's why they disappear from social media and all this other shit and leave you on red and all this other shit because he's talking to somebody, man. You know what I mean? Men are not going to do that shit. Oh, shit, another one on deck. More pussy on deck in a rotation. That's what men are going to do, most men. Now, you do got women who are moving like men, but that's the key. They're moving like men. That's why you see the female player doing all that fuck, fuck shit. That bad bitch, that's just a female, uh, a male female player it's just a male uh, it's a male in a female's body basically to break it down but hey i'm out of here man
they definitely loyal, man. So if you got one, just remember she could all this. I'm the best ever. She that's why she can't get no better than me, and she can't go fuck somebody who she think better than me. Psh. Now I'm not saying they are better than you. I'm just saying from her perception, she could fuck a guy who she thinks is better looking than you, or who got more money than you. It's a fact. Millionaires are offering them fucking trips all day long, all all over this motherfucker. You, on the other hand, where you gonna get that other girl that got more money than your girl? Nine times out of ten, you wouldn't have committed to your girl if you didn't think you can get a better looking girl. So where you gonna get that at? Hmm? Yeah, we know what time it is, man. Y'all better appreciate when y'all got these faithful women. And I'm not saying all of them are innocent. I'm just saying if you got one, a good one. Understand that she don't have to choose. What did the man say in that uh, Mary J. Blige song? Something about uh, you could have, you chose, he said something about she could have chose others, but she chose him. So it's like respect thing. He understands. Like, my girl can get any, any dude she wants. And, and I'm not saying that you aren't the best that she could do as far as like a total package, faithfulness and all that. I'm just simply saying from the shopping aspect of a sexual market value, there's other guys that have more money than you that look better than you and to her, in her opinion. And she could probably, she could fuck with them. They might not commit to her, but they'll still fuck her. Now flip that shit. How many men can say, you know, I'm, I'm about to hit up a girl that look better than my girl. Fuck. Yeah, right. You can't, you can't, or you probably wouldn't even be with your girl to begin with. And you definitely not going to get no girl that got more money, more than likely. Because a woman ain't going to fuck with you like that if she got money. If, unless she really fuck with you. Ain't no woman who got money just to fuck with a dude just to fuck with him. It's not going to happen. Because she understands that men are the providers. So you got a girl that got money. She got to fuck with you, dog. She got to. I'm out, man.